Herkese merhabalar. Crypto News'te bu videomuzda kripto para, blockchain ve web3 dünyasının önemli isimlerinden birisi. Hatta gelecekte çok konuşacağımız bir isimle yaptığımız röportaja yer vereceğiz. Kim bu isim? Aslında kendisi sadece blockchain değil, birçok alanda önemli işlere imza atmış ve atmaya devam eden birisi. Örneğin Silikon Vadisi'nde blockchain topluluğunun kurucusu ve aynı zamanda başkanı. BMW'da sorumlu lider. Önemli yapay zeka şirketlerinden birisi olan Zero Labs'in başkanı. Ve tüm bu kariyerin ardında da yine insanlığı ileriye taşımaya çalışan önemli oluşumlardan birisi olan Amerika Birleşik Devletleri'ndeki Norveç Mülteci Konseyi'nin başındaki isim. Amit Pradan'dan bahsediyoruz. Şundan eminim ki bu ismi önümüzdeki yıllarda çok duyacaksınız. Ve sadece kripto para, blockchain teknolojisinde değil, yapay zekada da dünyayı çok farklı yerlere taşıyabilecek bir isim olacak Amit Pradhan. Kripto News olarak kendisine hem blockchain dünyası hem de teknolojinin gelecekte nerelere gideceği konusunda birçok önemli soru sorduk ve güzel bir röportaj yaptık. Şimdi isterseniz lafı fazla uzatmadan röportajımıza geçelim. So AI in many ways has become, whether we like it or not, has become quote unquote the foundational model of the society we live in. And it's become that in a way that is fraught with a lot of issues, right? Because it is hyper centralized. It's a handful of companies that control the world's AI. And with that, they control effectively the world's data. In many ways, what is starting to happen is digital representations of each one of us built around AI are starting to exist without our control, without our, our governance, without our benefit, um, other than convenience. And so the way to start to shift that is to start to decentralize it. And that's where the interplay of Web3 and AI starts to show up. In many ways, my thesis is that A future of AI without Web3 and a future of Web3 without AI both cannot exist. And so we're going to start seeing the integration of, you know, AI starting to get more more decentralized. The benefits of AI starting to spread across to the individuals, not just to a handful of companies. Um, and the economics that come from a Web3 perspective will start to inure to the benefit of everyone who participates in that AI. So in many ways, what we'll start seeing is this deep interplay of AI and Web3, where hopefully in the next three years, we'll stop thinking of them as separate pieces and we'll start seeing them as one way to create that better society. So then you get into, well, what does that even mean, right? What that means is uh, a better representation of each one of us in the world of AI with privacy at the core, with Um, a better and more responsible carbon footprint of what is today a big centralized AI model. What it'll mean is that AI will start to augment each one of us rather than replace each one of us. And that becomes not only a more responsible AI future, it becomes a more scalable AI future. Um, and that is enabled because of the blockchain, that is enabled because of the tokenomics that can exist on top of that because of the power of creating currency correlated to what that AI is doing means that it will also be a more sustainable currency as well, as opposed to a token for the sake of token and just trading. Uh, it becomes a core part of you know, what the AI is trying to achieve. And at the end of the day, if that AI doesn't represent us and inure to our benefit, what is the point of that AI? And to me, that is the future that we'll see. The shift that will come is that we'll start seeing a movement away from hyper-centralized AI companies, three companies, four companies, five companies ruling the world, to a far more decentralized model, smaller companies playing very important roles in different functions of different parts of our lives, and, and of course on the enterprise side as well. And so in many ways, the world of a Microsoft or just you know a, an open AI becoming even more powerful and even kind of more the control of everything that happens will start to go down and we'll start to see more self-sovereignty um, and the area that I focus on and a category that I 
um, first spoke about six years ago at the, in Davos, which is self-sovereign AI. AI that is owned by each individual, represents each individual, um, and therefore is controlled by each one of us, and each one of us can benefit from the economics from that AI as well.